Hey everyone, this is Jay Keeps here in the 710 Film Studio. Excited to be back here after a big win versus the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road. This was a monumental win for the Seahawks in order to, to make sure that their season is staying on the right track. And not only that, but after a really tough offensive performance in week one, they bounced back in a big way. And a big part of that was one, the in-game adjustments of Brian Schottenheimer, two, Russell Wilson playing lights out, played one of his best games of his entire career, and really showed that he is a top five quarterback in this league. And I'm excited to dive into, yes, we can look at some of the touchdown plays that, and we will get into that, but I wanna dive more into why Russell Wilson was able to surgically take apart this defense and what this offense did so well that had an answer for the Pittsburgh Steelers' aggressive approach in bringing pressure. So let's dive right into it. So right here we have our first play. This play right here is, again, we're going to talk about what the Pittsburgh Steelers were trying to do pressure-wise to the Seattle Seahawks and how the Seahawks were able to respond. So uh, the Seahawks come out in a simple 2 by 2 uh, formation here, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, their favorite pressure – one of their favorite pressures is nickel pressure. So this guy right here off the slot and Tyler Lockett, uh, and they like to play three fire zone behind it. That's always been what Pittsburgh Steelers football has been about on defense. You know, they want to create confusion, create pressure and chaos on the quarterback to try and force errors. Well, what the Seahawks were able to do and Russell Wilson was, was identify these key situations and be able to hit their hots and replace the blitz or attack the blitz. So, the blitz that you're going to end up seeing here, the pressure that ends up coming, is a nickel pressure. So you have five guys rushing with the nickel coming off the edge here. And what the Steelers are going to try and do here is they're going to try and match and play three fire zone. So you'll have a middle field uh, safety deep in the middle of the field. You'll have your corners playing, have their deep third responsibilities. And really it looks like man-to-man -man on the outside. And then you have the safety trying to come down, match on Tyler Lockett, linebackers playing accordingly. Well, what they do so well, this, what Russell Wilson, Tyler Lockett on this play in particular, is they replace the blitzer. So Russell Wilson sees Tyler Lockett have space. The safety doesn't come down fast enough. And you are able to hit Tyler Lockett in the flat with space. And obviously Tyler Lockett being the dynamic player that he is with the ball in his hands, able to make the safety miss and get a huge 22-yard uh, completion. Again, a simple throw, simple pitch and catch, but what they were able to do is attack the pressure. All right, on to the next play. So what the Seahawks did was they were originally in a 3 by one formation. Tyler Lockett motions over to try and give man zone indicators. The, the corner actually went over with Tyler Lockett, which would give you a man indicator here. Well, what actually Pittsburgh ends up doing is they play three fire zone again. So again, that's why you, although you have man zone indicators, you always have to confirm coverage post snap as a quarterback. And they do a phenomenal job of that. What they have here dialed up as a play call for the Seahawks is they have a seam by Disley, they have a spot route here by Tyler, and a swing by Carson, a, a slant, a quick slant by Nick Vanette on the outside, and a seam route by DK Metcalf, okay, which in this case, if it was man-to-man, -man, would most likely turn into an inside fade. You like your opportunity there. DK Metcalf in the slot, inside fade possibly. Well, what do they do? The Pittsburgh Steelers, they once again bring their favorite pressure. They bring that nickel off the edge, play three fire zone behind it, and here you have a clear uh, opening in response or clear error in responsibility by middle linebacker rookie Devin Bush not getting over here to replace DK Metcalf. Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf are on the same page. You'd love to see this from your young rookie to be able not only play at a high level, make beautiful catches, but to be able to recognize hots and sights. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. So to see those guys be on the same page is really exciting and fun. Uh, Russell Wilson hits him immediately. Look at the space. Again, get the ball to your playmaker's hands as soon as you possibly can. DK Metcalf at, at 6'4", uh, 230 pounds, uh, makes the safety 
uh, runs the safety over, uh, gets more yards as the corner tries to tackle him, and, and you have a nice 14-yard gain, again, off of a simple five-yard pitch and catch. But recognition, recognition of the blitz, attack the blitz. All right, next, I promised you we'd get to some touchdown passes. Here, I'm going to the second touchdown uh, uh, for Will Disley on the day. Uh, this is actually a really cool play design. This is just a simple, all-vertical concept, but what makes this play unique and different is the way that Brian Schottenheimer designed this play to attack and stretch this side of the field, okay, and influence these linebackers and safeties uh, and really put this, this defense in a bind. So, we talked about attacking the blitz. Well, uh, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers line up. They look in a normal too high shell. But as you start to see this, the safety is capping that slot corner. What can you expect? Another nickel pressure. Again, I told you, the, the Steelers love this pressure, and they, they went to it often versus the Seahawks. So we get a nickel pressure here. You got five eventually coming at Russell Wilson here. And what, what you're going to have on this side is Tyler Lockett. They're going to snap it right when he gets to the hip of Will Disley at this line of scrimmage. So what you're going to see here is he's going to wait, and then he's going to explode getting this nice uh, spray-go release, which really stretches and opens this defense up. Will Disley attacks the seam, and Chris Carson is now running a swing. So what you get here due to... The motioning of Tyler Lockett and the swing by Chris Carson, you get linebacker Mark Barron able to over-influence, not get a reroute on Will Disley, but overplay to try and match Chris Carson. The corner widens with Tyler Lockett, and again, rookie Devin Bush has, a, has struggled this game mightily in terms of matching up with the Seahawks and was late to get to Will Disley, as you see on this next picture here. Will Disley is down the seam, and look at this, guys. By the time Will is just five yards down the field, the ball is already out of Russell Wilson's hands. As you see here, the Pittsburgh Steelers almost win in this pressure. They almost get the nickel to get home to Russell Wilson, but because Russell averaged 1.89 seconds per attempt, with, when, as soon as the ball was snapped to the, when the ball left his hand, the Steelers were not able to get there, and you were able to attack these voids within this, this fire zone and really make the Pittsburgh Steelers pay as Will Disley uh, walks in for a nice touchdown. Uh, again, his second touchdown of the day. Next and final play, another touchdown. The Seahawks line up in empty formation on third and four. Uh, short down distance situation here. You're going to have a, a spot route, a hitch route on the outside by Nick Vanette, an inside fade by DK Metcalf, a stick route by Tyler Lockett as you get moving here. And, and that's really where Russell is looking in this case. So as you look pre-snap, it looks definitely like you have some man principles going on here. And that is very true. What the Pittsburgh Steelers end up doing is they end up bringing saw blitz, a saw pressure. A, they bring the Sam and the Will in this 3-4 defense. So what you have here is you have man across the board. And because they go into this pressure package, you get this nice one-on-one -on -one matchup with DK Metcalf. And if you're Russell Wilson, always aggressive-minded, always going to go for it, you're going to trust your rookie wide receiver, uh, your playmaker, to make this play in a critical situation on third down, on the road, a in a must-have situation. So love the trust that Russell Wilson displays here. Love the finish that DK Metcalf shows. Again, getting the ball up and out of his hands as the Steelers were bringing that saw pressure. And now you have DK Metcalf staring down the Pittsburgh Steelers fan base and Heinz Field uh, and this was the reason why ultimately the Seahawks were able to win this game they were able to attack recognize the pressure that the Pittsburgh Steelers were bringing and able to get the ball out of Russell Wilson's hands decisively and quickly and those plays were huge for the Seahawks to be able to move the ball uh, get first downs and ultimately be able to win this football game. So a lot of great stuff in this game and can't wait to see what they end up doing in week three versus the New Orleans Saints at home.